Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Now, today, we are actually playing on the beta branch because there has been a big old update that brings with it a huge number of changes. None of them are particularly, I guess, individually spectacular, uh, but together, they make a very, very, very interesting proposition uh, and certainly a very interesting update. So over the course of this episode, we're going to be exploring all of the new changes that have been made uh, in the beta, in the beta branch, which you can check out right now, as well as continuing our, uh, our, our existing series, which is quite exciting, if indeed I do say so myself. Uh, first of all, I'd like to address, thank you very much to everyone who left a comment uh, in the last video. One thing that I completely neglected to do uh, was to actually set up the steel trains to uh, to visit this brand new open storage. So that's a that's a great spot there. I'm going to get this rectified uh, right now. Let me let me have a little look. Uh, where would the where would the train be? Where would the train be? Would it be would it be electric or diesel? There's there's two here. Hold on. Maybe let me check the routes instead. The routes would probably be uh, slightly, slightly easier to check. Uh, what the heck was this thing? It used to be called the open storage as well, didn't it? Iron Excavia train platform. No, we don't want that. I'm looking for something with like one vehicle. Uh, you do not do that. Also, there's, uh, there's some stuff flashing up in the, the bottom left-hand corner. That's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's good. Okay, hold up. This is, this is the one. This is the one. So, after the customs house, we'll get you to come through here. Great. Load 100% of anything. Wait until loaded. Steel. Boom. Let's go. And what was the other one? It wasn't that one. That's aggregate loading. Stalnoy. I think there's, like, what... Another one? Nope, that's coal. We gotta find it. We gotta find it. Medium customs house loading. That's loading coal as well. Railway production line. This is the one that we have. This is the one that takes resources to the open storage. We still have one that takes directly to the customs house. I think it's an electric train, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me go into vehicles. 3,000 all map electric locomotives. Yeah. I have a funny feeling that it might have just got stuck at the customs house somewhere. So if we if we have a little look down here. Oh, I love a little bit of administration first thing in the episode. Potato grad train platform. Well, we'll find it. Don't you worry about it. We'll find that freaking train that we need to find. There we go. Is it this one? Oh my lordy, there's a lot of There's a lot of shenanigans happening here. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. I knew that we'd find it. It was the very last one on the list. Where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, view this vehicle. They've actually changed, uh, they've changed where the view icon is. Interesting. Oh, I've lost it. Hold on. Hold on. This is, this is fine. We're getting on, we're getting on top of things. Destroy, destroy. I would press the delete button to, to get rid of multiple, to get rid of multiple windows at a time, but I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm going to lose the train. Okay. Where'd the train go? It's just chilling. It's just chilling here. Oh, it's literally chilling at the customs, uh, at the customs house. Okay, well that's a little bit less than ideal, but honestly, all things considered, it's uh, it's not super terrible. Okay, uh, let's start chatting about the the brand new patch. Once we got this up and running, let's do not do wait until loaded there. That's fine. Go to right over there. Boom. Okay, uh, what's new in the patch that I like? Well, let's go through. First of all, everything is kind of being shifted around uh, in a little bit of a, a little bit of a weird way. Everything just looks a little bit strange. Uh, it basically includes the introduction of fences. Um, are fences good for anything other than the fact that they look kind of nice? Um, I don't know. Uh, we got a fence gate, which is where we're able to, which is where we're able to make construction uh, trucks come, which is also kind of cool, and you know will serve as a uh, place where the fence can cross the road. That's kind of nice. Uh, we got like a big, a big thick concrete fence here, brick fence, and we also have a specific fence removal tool, which is also kind of interesting. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, the other thing that we've got is we can do batch auto construction using rubles and batch auto construction using dollars. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with that in a little bit, but uh, but we'll we'll get to that in just a second. So uh, after after fences, what do we got? Have we got anything in roads? I don't think that we have anything in roads, with the exception of the very exciting bendy bridges. That's right. We gotta we gotta try and test these out, eh? Not necessarily to build them, but oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm very excited to see if we can see if we can use them. Okay, so something like this, yes, and then oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that bridge. Look at that bridge. Oh my giddy ant. We've created we've created an infinite loop. You love to see it. Oh my goodness. This is going to make this is going to make everything so much easier. And um and this can be done for prefab bridge, concrete bridge, and trolleyway bridges as well. And I know for a fact, yep, you see that? You see that? We can also do the exact same thing with uh, railway bridges, which is kind of incredible and just makes the game so much more playable. It's so much more natural. Like, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is a crazy amount of flexibility that I just I can't even imagine. And it's finally here. It's great. Uh, nothing in the connection between factories uh, section. Footpaths. Oh my goodness. I think that this might legitimately be my favorite update of uh, of everything. And um, if you didn't catch that whilst I was hovering on it for uh, for just a second, we now have pedestrian bridges, we've got overpasses, and we've got tunnels. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think about where this would be most useful. Certainly there's like a bazillion places where I would just love, love, love to be able to connect up uh, love to be able to connect up a whole bunch of footpaths. I mean, this area, for example, I mean, a pedestrian steel overpass would just be so unbelievably nice. So if I do something like this, it's quite steep. Oh, look at that. We can cross over factory connections. Oh, my goodness. The day is... Oh, I'm so unbelievably excited. Uh, we can get steps in place now. That's also kind of cool. So that means that we don't even necessarily need to create these long, you know, silly walkways. We can just straight up create, uh, we just straight up create stairs. Oh my goodness. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. Um, and actually, on that same note, see this? We actually have, uh, notifications for a whole bunch of warning systems now. So we've got an electricity problem. There's an electricity problem over here. Let's take a little look at it, see what's going on. Uh, building is without a power supply. Okay, why is the building without a power supply? It should have a power supply. This building is also without a power supply. Is it, uh, due to the fact that there are too many connections? It probably is. It probably is. So there you go. Uh, we can see that there is a power deficiency in this neck of the woods. And, uh, now we know how to fix it. Because there's, there's too many, uh, there's too many, uh, there's too many connections on this specific substation. You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous to the, to the people of Turistovsky. Why don't we fix their, why don't we fix their problem? We can fix their problem fairly easily. Uh, do we have any roads nearby? Kind of do. It's kind of impossible to see exactly where everything is, but there we are. All right, get that built, get that built. I don't even know necessarily if there is a connection nearby that we can tap into. There must be. Oh, by the way, just you wait until we get to the to the power section of the update. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There do be some fun stuff in power. There do be some fun stuff in power. Okay. There we go. As I say, this isn't a huge update in terms of um Oh, we we can make this fit. We can make this fit. I believe. I believe. Uh yeah, there's There's a lot of changes. A lot of them are quality of life changes, and I kinda love loads of them. Uh, the one with pathways, to be honest, is straight up just going to change the way that the game is actually played. It's going to allow everyone to make, you know, just much, much tighter, much, much nicer uh, industrial areas, which I'm really, really excited to see how that uh, how that turns out. It's going to be it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. All right, yoink that over there, yoink this in here. Beautiful. Let's get that built. And I've already queued that up to be built. Oh, look, we can even tick notify me when finished. Boom, construction has been finished. How great is that? Okay, so estimated maximum uh, consumption, estimated maximum consumption. It's still a little bit high, but you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. We can, we can rest easy. Ambulances haven't arrived. No hospital in the range or building not connected to road network. 
Okay. Uh, wait. Ambulances can't arrive? Ambulances can't arrive along paths? That's, uh, somewhat of a strange situation. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to get this connected up. If we can, we might as well. Sure. Build that, then see if we can try and reconnect a path here. Was this the- was this the path that I sacrificed? I may have sacrificed, uh... I may have sacrificed something or other here. And it might have been- it might have been that connection. Cancel that road instead, then. Fine. And then... Yeah, something like that. Any chance of it connecting in? Can do a connection like that. What about a connection like that? Ah, sure, whatever. Just leave- leave that as is. Maybe that'll trigger the ambulances into into working. Alternatively, it could very well be just a case of not having enough ambulances, which I kind of anticipate is actually what's happening. Uh, potential capacity problem, too many connections. That is honestly a little bit of a shame. There are, there are a lot of connections in here. We probably do need to do something about that. I should actually consider... Yeah, I should actually consider what the temperature is in some of these buildings, because these might be out with the range. They're not out with the range, but they are they are like on the outer reaches and uh, honestly this area probably deserves a brand new heating connection. Yeah, it probably deserves a brand new heating connection, which makes me think that I need to do something about that. Yeah, look at this. Notify, notify me when production will stop. That's super important. So I mean, I should immediately set that up on all of my coal power plants and in an ideal world also the heating plants as well that's that's pretty darn important too okay let's let's see if we can try and get a heat exchanger we'll get a large heat exchanger also just as a little teaser for uh, for what we're going to chat about a little bit later on but let's get the heat exchanger in right now let's get the heat exchanger in right now to make sure that everything is hunky dory and then we'll get the large pipes that will come along the roads Typical orbital potato fashion. There we go. That doesn't really look like it's connected, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, what the heck is happening with my cursor? There we go. Alright, so. Out of town. Oh, is this actually going to be... Is, that, is this actually going to be one singular... Heat connection? Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at this. Interesting. So it highlights the infrastructure that is actually in the way? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I, I shouldn't have built that with dollars. That was a pretty bad idea. Build that with uh, rubles instead, please. Yeah, build that with rubles. And the whole thing is building with rubles, so that's great. And we'll build this with rubles too. And that should mean everything looks, uh, looks grand. Also, have they, have they updated the in-construction models, or is that just me? Also, the television station is coming along, like, ridiculously quickly. You can see all of the boards that we're using as, like, scaffolding, which is also kind of neat. Man, I like that. I like that a lot. Also, we've somehow run out of dollars. How did we run out of dollars? I'm building this with rubles. I'm building this, this pipeline with rubles here, too. Hmm. Hmm. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Indeed it does. We may need to take out a quick little, uh, a quick little loan. This has definitely been updated. Look at that. Look at that scaffolding model. That's, uh, that's pretty darn cool. Uh, can we sell any aircraft? No, we cannot sell any aircraft. Also, I am, I'm blissfully aware, blissfully unaware, perhaps, uh, of the fact that I do need to, I do need to go and sort out my tourism situation, my tourism airport and stuff like that. Let's take out a small little loan here. Just a small cheeky loan. Just a small cheeky loan to tide me over. Are we almost done with the next aircraft? Not quite yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Deaths? Are we okay for deaths? We're a little bit high. We're a little bit high on the death front. Gotta be honest, a little bit high on the death front. We need to we need to keep a we need to keep a close eye on that situation. For sure. However, we do have we do have heat, and heat is important, which is excellent. Very, very nice indeed. Ambulances still have not arrived. Uh, yes, it is, it is a tragedy. Can't go to school because there is no school places. 
Wait, hold up. What? Temperature in building is too low. That should really not be the case. Are there seriously no school places? Temperature in building is too low. Wait, is there no connections here? Oh my goodness. We, uh, we used to have a road connection in here, but I guess I just completely removed the road connection. Um, that kind of explains where the vast majority of our workforce has been recently. Um, yeah, wow, I, I guess. That's, that's kind of crazy. Also, this heating plant is absolutely freaking maxed out. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I did not anticipate that this heating plant would be outputting the maximum amount of heat. That's that's wild. That's wild, actually. That is really, really wild. Okay, well, the good news is, is that we have, we have another school, which is excellent. And that's going to free up, liberate a huge number of workers, which is tremendous. Okay, shall we return to having a little look at what's new? I think we shall. I think we shall. Okay, so into the conveyor section. I don't think that there's anything new here. Uh, I don't necessarily know if the limit of the conveyor engine transfer uh, system is still the same. I suspect that it is. I still suspect 10 point something tons is still the maximum that we will be able to send. Um, it also looks like there's a little bit more granularity in the detail. Amount of materials transported, 4 point you know, three decimal places now as opposed to as opposed to what it used to be. Uh, yeah, don't quote me on the don't quote me on the amount that can be transported. I guess the best place to probably check that actually is over here. Where we're able to see exactly how much is being transported in. It's not much coal. It's not much coal because that's because we don't have much coal. Yeah, we still need uh, we still need more coal. And we still need this freaking coal mine to be built. And it's still not being built, and that's still a disgrace. Okay, right. Well, I guess we can't check the exact numbers, but that's uh, that's fine. Train is waiting too long for the green signal. That's so helpful. That's so helpful to know. Ah, yeah, this is at the border. We're kind of anticipating something like this happening. It's always... Uh, it always takes ages to fill up the train here. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. So, after conveyors, we get to pipelines. Now... There is a brand new mechanic in uh, in the pipeline section, and that is underground pipe connections. I have yet to experiment with this, but this is incredible. This is incredible because now we no longer have to have, look at this, all of this infrastructure above ground looking super unbelievably stupid. We can literally build an underground pipe connection and, uh, and be done with it. How cool is that? How cool is that? Very, very cool indeed. Uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll start mucking around with that in a little bit. High voltage wires. Don't think that there's anything new in a high, uh, high voltage wires. Same with medium voltage. That's fine. Ships, I believe, are unchanged. Cableway, similar station here. Don't think that there is anything brand new in cableway. Heating related. Ooh, you see that? Heating pipe underground small. Heating pipe underground big. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like that. I like that a lot. This is very, very exciting. Very, very exciting indeed. And then another, another, another big change. What's this? Passenger heliport platform? Helicopter construction office? What the heck is a helicopter construction office? Does it allow us to build buildings with helicopters? To be brutally honest, I have no idea. We got to try it out. We got to, we got to try it. We got to build one. We got to build one and we got to build it in our construction office zone. So, helipad construction office. Let's freaking go. Let's get this built like as quickly as we possibly can also notify me when finished please i love that feature that's so nice uh we've also got just brand new like heliport things so like just regular heliports regular heliports heliport cargo terminals uh heliport cargo platform times three i mean this would have been lovely to consider like when i was setting up my airport um but now now I uh, now I just don't care. Now now it's too late. It's too late. We gotta we gotta double down on Potato Grad uh, International Airport. So let's let's see if we can build another. Uh, well, I say another a uh, helipad transport platform over here, and let's also see if we can get one of these as well. Sure, cargo platforms for sure. We want to utilize them at some point, but now doesn't really seem like the like the correct time. I think we'll leave it for uh, for a little bit. Also, let's go into double time speed because I am I am not. I am not spending any more time in winter than I need to. It is miserable enough. 
It is miserable enough. The deaths are large-ish. But, uh, but we could definitely do with being, with being out of winter. Also, speaking of being out of winter, can I potentially, maybe, possibly, maybe, uh, zone another heating plant? Because almost certainly we're going to need it. We are going to need it. Heating plant. Yep, literally a large heating plant. Yep, get that zone down there. And we'll... Tell you what, I'll actually do... Yeah, I'll actually do a nice... A nice road here. Cool. Any chance of getting under this road? There's got to be a chance. When there's a will, there's a way. Okay, that kind of works. I don't know why the video game snapped to that point. Interesting. We can we can make this happen. We can make this happen. Look at that. I suspect I suspect that one of the primary. Uh, ooh, look at this heating problem. Don't mind if I do. What's going on? What's the issue here? There's a capacity problem. Oh man, look at this! Look at this! All of this information is just, is just available. It's you know it's here. It's at my fingertips. We're notified about dodgy stuff. We're notified about stuff that we need to be notified about. I mean, it's just great news. It's just great news all around. Let's get some uh, some more heating facilities in here, and let's build, let's build this. I did say that there was going to be a bridge in here. Originally. But uh, but then I determined that we didn't actually need a bridge in, in in this vicinity, so that's fine. Let's uh, let's leave that as is. Let's connect up some more pretty janky roads. Let's build those roads. Let's uh, let's build this with uh, with dollar redos, and then let's build another uh, another underground heating pipe, maybe. Oh, can we just? Oh, we can't build it under buildings. Okay, that's a bit of a. That's a bit of a bummer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I mean it's not very underground. It's it's like pseudo underground. Let's let's see. Let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see if we can make this happen. Okay, so building is in the way, some other infrastructure is in the way. Okay, fine. That looks good. Building in the way. Some other infrastructure is in the way. So can we not go under paths? Is this Okay, we can go we can go under some pads here. Okay, this is this is good news. So what about uh like around around here? I mean we could connect up a normal heat pipe, like that's something that I'm acutely aware of. I suspect that maybe we're supposed to do like 50% underground and 50% normal. You know, I, I don't necessarily think that we're supposed to be doing everything underground. At least that's the impression that I'm getting. Oh, look at that. We can actually snap heating pipes together now as well. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Oh, that is going to make things so much tidier. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's go uh let's go down. Actually, let's go up. It just feels like these are just so much easier to work with now. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. If they, if it wasn't like the middle of winter, that would be great. So these underground pipes, they, yeah, they just disappear. They just disappear, and they work as well. Look at that. We've, uh, we've got heat. We've got heat, and that's cracking. That's excellent. That is really, really good. Also, we are very out of coal. We have not got very much coal at all. But that's okay. Unemployment is too high. Please, tell me where unemployment is too high. Here. How is everyone... How... What? Don't live here. I... I apologize. I didn't think that there was anyone living there. Can we... Is there nowhere... Is there nowhere for these people to stay? Oh, okay. Let's bung them in Kolovsky ski then. Uh, that's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Unemployment's not too high. We can we can fix these things. Production stopped. Ooh, that's that's very important. That's super duper duper important. 
Is it because there is not enough coal? No, it is because there is not enough workers. That is a big problem. That is a really, really big problem. So, uh, this has basically happened because we just don't have enough, uh, what are they called? Snowplows? Yeah, my snowplow operation has just apparently completely stopped. I don't know if we actually have any snowplowing operation. For real? Do we not have a single snowplow? All right, well, that absolutely categorically has to change. Uh, technical services, that's the one. That's the ticket. Do I have a nuclear excavator nearby? I do, thank goodness. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Otherwise, that would take a rather long time to address. All right, here's what we need to do. Level height from center. Fine, there we go. All right. Honestly, I love the changes that have been made, though. It, it feels like a... It feels like a like an entirely different game. It really does. It feels it feels so tight. It feels so smooth. Also, I saw that electricity problem. You can't fool me. You can't fool me, video game. You cannot fool me. Buildings without a power supply. I suspect that that's yeah. I suspect that that's probably because our power facility just ended up going down. Also, what is this? That's embarrassing. That's what that is. Uh. Yep, it's because the... It's because the control tower isn't within range and uh, there's no fuel station along this route. <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. I'll sort this out. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me... Let me see. Uh, yeah, yoink this down here. Also, thank you very much for the comment letting me know that uh, heating for air traffic control towers isn't, like, super necessary. Apparently, the uh, the degradation of HP, the worker HP during each and every shift is uh, is not that large. Okay, you're just driving right... Okay, fine, you're just driving right past the... past the gas station. That's cool. That's absolutely fine. At least we've got workers here now. That's that's at least a step in the right direction. Uh, give me the technical services, please. Let me let me get some technical services up and running. Uh, we can also add favorites to trucks now. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Oh yeah, that's that's real good. That is real, 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 real good. Okay, there's so many lovely things in this update. Honestly, it's a real quality of life update. It's uh. It's making a huge amount of difference. It's making a huge amount of difference. It feels really, really good. Also, how on earth have we managed to deliver so much gravel already? I suppose we are very, very near the gravel pickup site. That does that does make sense. Also, I seem to have acquired rather a large number of, uh, of dollars. I don't know how, but that's fine. Ambulances still haven't arrived. I mean, look, this is just, to me, this says we need to construct a hospital. And to be honest, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that because I didn't really think that we had a hospital shortage before. Now I realize the uh, the error of my ways. I will try and fix it. Is this seriously like not? There we go. Uh, that should have been an auto build, but it wasn't. It's fine. Uh, what am I looking for? Yeah, so if I go, if I do this, batch product, uh, production using dollars. Yeah, so we can highlight a whole bunch of stuff and just produce it all with dollars. Oh my goodness, that is going to be so unbelievably helpful. Because usually, if you if you miss the boat, if you miss the boat on clicking the build button, like if you just say, you know, you plan out a whole uh, a whole bunch of stuff. This this uh, conveyor area, this conveyor area was the worst for it. You know, sometimes you just have to like manually go through and click on all of the the resource transfers the belts and you just need to manually uh, manually organize it whereas now boop you're gonna be able to just uh what is it this boop 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 that's it that's all you that's all you're gonna need to do it's gonna be wonderful i'm very very excited to use that citizen's health is too low where's where's that happening it's because the building temperature is too low, and it's because we didn't have it's because we didn't have enough workers in the heating plant, and we still don't have enough workers in the heating plant. That is uh, that is a travesty. That is an absolute travesty. 
Oh my god, the deaths, the deaths, the deaths, the deaths, the deaths, the deaths. Let me go. Get me out of here. No, oh, this is, this is grim. This is grim. Everyone work at the heating plant. There we go. Everyone work at the heating plant. Citizen's health is too low. Yeah, I know. I appreciate that. Can I just build this? Can I build this so that we don't lose all of our citizens' health, please? Basically, some of these heating connections need, need to be reallocated. I mean, this does 1,050. So it can basically supply three heat exchanges. So that last pipe that I just connected in there, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Citizen's health is too low. Yeah, I know. Continues to be too low. We're trying to fix things. I also need to zone a brand new hospital, which I haven't yet done. Uh, but I absolutely categorically should do. Maybe over here? Here seems a pretty good place. Level height from center. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good place. There we go. There we go. Equipment for citizens. Boom, boom. And yeah, just tuck it in, uh, tuck it in behind there, I guess. Sure, that's totally fine. I am getting so many notifications about uh, about life, death, and everything in between. Uh, please build this, just build it. I don't care if you're building it with rubles, just get it built. And then we're gonna go here, disconnect this. That was pretty inconsistent disconnection, but uh, frankly, I don't care. It doesn't matter. All right, get that built. Resources missing coal, not for long. Boop, boop, boop. Do I care that we are going to be burning coal uh, rapidly, quickly? No, I do not. Okay, so all related vehicles. Let's have a little look at this. So we're actually going to swap two of these onto a different line. Yeah, I think that's probably okay. I don't love it. Maybe I maybe I maybe I don't love it actually. Maybe I really don't love it. Maybe I just straight up bite the bullet and uh, wait for. Oh, we don't. We do not have enough uh, enough ruble or enough rubleage at the moment. Let me uh, let me take out a loan. Fine. I was so good. I was so good on the loan front, and now I'm not. Anyway, uh, lots of little buses here. Here to here. That's it. Yeah, that's literally it. Yep. And boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. All right. That's that's looking and feeling much better, or it will be looking and feeling much better. So uh, so that's really good. That's really good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, ambulance still doesn't arrive. That's okay. We, we queued up a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of constructions. That's fine. Also, this might actually legitimately be within walking distance. I never even considered putting them close enough together to to be within walking distance. Uh, let me see. I'll tell you what, I bet you that is. I bet you anything that is within walking distance. That's that's very much within walking distance. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, you know those buses that I just introduced? Uh, they are going to be swapped around. We are going to change that up in just a second. Look at that. All right. We got it. We got it. So we're maxing out both heating plants, and uh, we should be able to fulfill everyone's, everyone's health needs. Last month, 10,000 people died? 10,000 people died? Ten thousand? Am I going absolutely bonkers? Okay, we've, we've stabilized this area. We've stabilized this area for sure. I thought we'd stabilized Kolovskyski as well. Maybe it's happening in like Stalnoy or something? Uh, let's check out Aluminov. It looks fine here. Yeah, it looks okay. 
Yeah, it looks fine. There's no capacity problems here, that's for sure. Let me check out Stalnoy. Uh, there might be a capacity problem in Stalnoy, but surely only barely. There is a slight capacity problem, but I don't think that things are too big. Yeah, things are fine. Things are fine here. Things are a little bit chilly, but, you know, nothing major. What about Potato Grad? What about Potato Grad? Indeed. I honestly think it must have been. It must have been Turistovsky that suffered the brunt. It's fine here. Yeah, this is totally fine. Actually, no, hold on. No, it's not. This is not fine. Oh my god, it's not fine. What happened? No resources missing coal. We don't have an auto purchase order on the coal here. And we've not had a delivery of coal in a while. You know what I think the problem is here? You know what I think the problem is? I think the... Well, first of all, we lost, like, literally the entirety of the population of Potato Grad. I, I don't know what the population was before, but my god, uh, if we could see graphs of Potato Grad, I think it would look uh, criminal, frankly. Uh, we gotta build some monuments. We gotta build some monuments to, to the glorious... Uh, to the glorious people who died in the great chill of 1973. Uh, yeah, wow. 1972 and 1973 both suffered from incredible, incredibly cold, incredibly cold winters. Uh, are we doing okay for, for heat here? Resource missing coal. Yeah, we need to make sure that this is auto-purchased. Yeah, this is, uh, this is non-negotiable, unfortunately. We have to burn, we have to burn some rubles. No resources missing coal. Yep, look, I, I, I know what we're going to do here. There we go. We're going to do that. Need to make sure that we're auto-purchasing coal. I think it must just be that we've got so much of a demand for coal now that pretty much everywhere is, is using it. Okay, the rate of deaths has somewhat slowed. Somewhat. 10,000. My god. Yeah, it's somewhat slowed. This is this is good news. This is good news. This is good news. This is fine. We're still struggling. We're still struggling though to get uh, to get anywhere near the amount of coal out of the ground. I mean, we could just fund the rest of this coal mine here. We could do that. Although to be honest, that doesn't really solve the problem. At least we're fine here. At least we're fine here. This is the this is the good news. Uh, we got plenty of we got plenty of temperature. We got plenty of everything. Temperature in building is too low. That should not be the case. No workers. Uh, that's rather tragic. That is very tragic. Prioritize workers to the heating plant, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll get workers. We'll get workers through here at some point soon. Uh, they're just not coming. They're just not coming in for some obscene reason. But we will get them. We will get them coming through here. Man, winters, seasons, seasons are brutal. Seasons are brutal. Seven workers, three workers. Come on. Come on. We need a few more. We need a few more. Or we need the weather to improve. Either or would be great. My god, the number, the number of dead people. Oh my god. Last year, 22,000. Jesus Christ, that's incredible. And this year, we're at 2,700 already. I mean, look, at least our birth rate is pretty darn high. That's, that's all I gotta say. At least it's, uh, at least it's pretty darn high. Okay. Electricity problems? How on earth are we having electricity problems? We shouldn't be having electricity problems at all. Man, getting through winter used to be so easy. Except when it wasn't, it used to be a struggle, and then it got easy. And then it became a struggle again. And now, here we are. Uh, anyway, how's construction of the steel mill coming along? Not bad, it's uh, it's taking its sweet time, but it is getting there. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, we're building other infrastructure around the place as well, which is looking pretty darn good too. Conveyor tower is coming along line, uh, coming online pretty soon as well. This is stopped. Yeah, so this is a big problem here. Tell you what I could totally do. 
tell you what I could totally do. Tell you what I could totally do. Oh, look at this. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. A footpath. Here. Stairs. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We build an overpass. Cool. And in there. Build it. Oh, you know what? Oh, batch per, uh, batch built. Yes, please. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. It's so wonderful. Okay, add this as a source. And that will finally allow everything to just work properly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to purchase coal here because we need to be making sure that there is heat. I am sick and tired of people dying. So please, if we can stop that number falling by spending a few rubles to import coal, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Right. These bridges work, I presume. Yep. They do allow a walk route between the bus stop and between here. So that's great. Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is this has been an exciting episode, that's for sure. This has been a very, very exciting episode. Okay, uh, moving on. Have we got anything else that is uh, really important to chat about? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think that that might be... That might be it. I think that there might be another tourism building or two in here. Like the Carousel? Autodrome? Am I going crazy or is that new? I think that might be new. Uh, beach Cafe Bar, Republic Theater. Yeah, that's all the same. That's all the same at the moment. Uh, oil Bitumen, that is all the same. Metallurgy, this is all the same as far as I'm aware as well. That's all good. Uh, we've got various industries. That still remains the same. Coal, gravel, and iron. I'm pretty certain that this is completely unchanged too. Uh, there is something new in here that I'm looking for. Engineering industry, that's all the same. Uh, energy related. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can you spot it, folks? I sure as heck hope that you can. There are three brand new energy production buildings here. Uh, renewable as well, uh, which is good fun. Uh, we got a solar power plant, 560 megawatt hours of power. We got a small wind power plant, and we got a big wind power plant. Now, how big of a game changer is that? Uh, huge, actually, because it means. If we have big wind power plants just dotted around the place, it means that we don't have to deal with... It means that we don't have to deal with snaking, you know, huge high-voltage power cables all the way across the map. Very, very nice indeed. In fact, I really want to see if we can try and build one. I want to see... I want to see if it'll work. Look at that. It actually supplies to all the buildings around. That is nifty. Oh, yes. Okay, let's build it. Let's build it here. Electricity problem. Wait, hold up. Electricity problem where? Right here? Oh, are you in need of... Are you in need of a small wind turbine? Because I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, and I tell you what. Oh, look, this is so perfect. This is actually so perfect. So there are a couple of them. Um... Oh, where are they? Yes, look, 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 look. This, this setup here, right? This setup. We no longer need this. We no longer need this. We no longer need to import anything. All we need... All we need is a wind turbine. A small wind turbine at that. It's that simple. Now, I suspect that these wind turbines can probably still catch on fire. Which is 20,000 bucks a piece. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very nice indeed. It's just going to make building, like independent independently uh independently disconnected areas so much more viable it's honestly huge i i cannot i cannot stress how big i think that is okay deaths are increasing still but they're increasing at like a little bit of a slower pace which is kind of nice so that's good are we are we okay for coal here have they increased the, the coal burn rate? I feel like the, the, the coal burn rate must have been increased. 8.4 tons of coal. Or maybe maybe I'm just maybe I'm just imagining things and in actuality we just haven't been able to produce anywhere near enough coal. 
That, to be honest, is probably part of the problem. Let me see if I can auto-purchase coal ore here. Yeah, there we go. Auto-purchase coal ore so that we can actually properly... Properly get some coal. It's going to cost me an absolute fortune, isn't it? I'm pretty close to the western border, so I can do that with... Uh, I can do that with dollars. Yeah, I can do that with dollars. Nice. Okay. Oh my... Okay, this is very fun. Very, very fun experience to, to watch, that's for sure. Right, well, I, all that I can say is that... Oh, there's a traffic jam. Ooh, it notifies me about traffic jams now. That is nice, too. Is it because we are full? Oh, no, it's because we're waiting for more chemical uh, stuff. Oh, yeah, and we, we basically don't have any workers here because uh, everyone is dead. I think literally everyone in Potato Grad is dead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the population is, but I think that the population has basically gone to zero. Um... Yep. Pretty sure that's what's happened here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a problem. That's a problem. Potato Grad was my one of my best cities. <laughs> it was one of my best gosh darn cities. At least we still got food and alcohol on the on the container ship, uh, on the container ship area. You know what? Before I replenish Potato Grad, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to wait until the weather just gets much nicer. Also, where the heck am I getting all these dollars from? Like, what's happening? Am I committing some sort of tax evasion situation here? Is it steel production? I have no idea. I guess that's where all my coal is going. It's going into steel. Maybe I'm just making more money from it. It's probably aluminium as well, actually. It's probably aluminium, if I had to wager. Yeah, our, our production of aluminium has been pretty on point. Been pretty on point throughout. Well, that's kind of great. Can we repay? Can we repay our dollar loans? Uh, legitimately, we can repay them all. Yeah. Or if we, yeah, we can. We can just repay them all. I'm not gonna do that quite yet, but we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that point in a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to try and build these uh, these solar panel, these solar power plants, because I haven't built one of these things yet, and I kind of want to. I love how it I love how it uh, how it distributes energy automatically. That's very cool. I mean, where is the, where is where is the place to stick it? It's so large. It's so big. It's absolutely huge. It's, it's absolutely immense. All right, let's do terrain height from center. Maybe here? I also have no idea how long it's gonna take to produce or take to build, should I say? Probably gonna take a fairly significant period of time. Yeah, I do not think that we got enough space to build this here. Of course, it's difficult to see because it's winter and it's difficult to see anything. Uh, but unless we move this power cable, which I will happily do, actually, for the sake of science. I don't think we're going to have the space. All right. Moved it. We built it. Let's get the power cable replaced. Uh, and actually, on that note, I think that there was a little update to the way that voltage works. So yeah, if we have a little look, it's now all highlighted as green. And you can actually trace the roots. It's not super obvious, but you can trace the roots of all of the different power cables. Uh, so you can actually see some of them, you know, you can see the ones that have got uh, the amount of voltage in them. You can see if they've got too much voltage, too little, and uh, they're highlighted. So you can actually see them now, which is, uh, which is kind of nifty. Uh, maybe not super required, but certainly nifty. There we go. Build with dollars. Let's get that done. All right. Turn that off too. And we shall... We shall build. Oh, look at that. You can now... 
I didn't realize, but you can also make roads perpendicular too. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. It's gonna make designing... It's gonna make designing everything so much more of a breeze. It's gonna be great. How are our propaganda stations doing? Propaganda stations are doing okay. We need steel. We need steel. And to be honest... Yeah, we're probably not getting much steel down here because we're probably too used to just shipping it off and, uh... And selling it at the border, which is fine. You know, it's okay. Let's uh, sell this aircraft. There we go. Away you go. That's fine. Yeah, we're you know we're pretty we're pretty used to just selling our uh, our aircraft at the border. Our aircraft at the border. We are used to selling our aircraft at the border. We're used to selling our steel at the border, and we probably haven't got any other system to accommodate that. Uh, how did we do in the airport department? Did we actually ever get? Where the heckity heck is the airport? Do we actually ever get anyone? We have tourists here. Yeah, we have tourists waiting here. Do we get anyone working at the... Uh, at the aerodrome? No. No, we did not. Where is the bus? Is here. It's gotta be- it's just gotta take too long. I'm almost certain that it takes- that it just takes too long. Probably worth getting, like, multiple buses to cover this route. It is kind of important that we have- It is kind of important that we have a presence, uh, in the- in the aerodrome at all times. Let's get two more. Okay, so that's three buses that we can get here. Let's see if I can spot the bus again. Man, we have a lot of heating problems. We need to take a we need to take a big old look at our entire heating network over the course of the summer months. We need to we need to find out exactly what the heck is going on. Cuz things were good and now things are bad. There we go. Okay. At least we get notifications about it. That's uh that's that's good. It's good. Citizens health is too low. Indeed. Indeed. Citizen's health is too low. Wait, what? Temperature in building is too low. Oh, is this another situation of freaking cold? Oh, my lordy. I thought I'd got them all. I thought I'd got them all. There we go. Okay. We got the, we got the power. We got the power. Let's sort it out. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, that really is every that really is every single heating plant, isn't it? That's every single heating plant that's been overhauled. How on earth do you not have any fuel nearby? I don't know. Do I particularly care? I actually don't. You know the reason that I don't particularly care? It's no longer a pain in the backside for me to deal with this. All we need to do, boom, that, this, this, this small wind turbine, boom, it, and then look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. The quality of life improvements are, they're just great. They're just great. I love them. I love them lots. They're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Heating problem. Heating problem at this facility. Yeah, this this entire facility is, is dead. It's it's just not, not good. It, there's just nothing happening here. Uh, but again, I'm not repopulating this area until I have... I have heat, and I mean, you know, outdoor heat, not not indoor heat. People's Palace is coming along just fine. Uh, it's taking a little while to build, you know. Also, there's... Oh, God, there's another coal facility here as well, which I forgot about. Uh, I thought I had them all. I thought I had them all. I absolutely categorically did not. How have we managed to maintain... How have we managed to maintain the population of Stalnoid, though? That doesn't make sense. Did we have so many adults that were still living with their parents? Deaths are fine. Escapes are fine. Weird. Very, very weird. Uh, glad that it's the case, though. So that's good. I mean... That's... Yeah, that's okay. It's very okay. Everything is very okay, with the exception of the amount of coal that we're outputting here, which is very not okay. Everything is very okay. I really, really, really... Oh, hold on, what was that? Uh, unemployment too high. Okay, cool. 
Ambulance has not arrived. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What's the issue here? 241 workers without a job? I mean, there should be multiple places that you can go. Can you not get to the train station? I don't think you can get to the train station. That does present somewhat of a problem. Try that. Yeah, try that. Does that increase the range of the train station? I think it does. That will probably make things a little bit smoother. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness we finally escaped from the winter of literal hell. Literal, literal hell. 5,000 deaths last month. Uh, 10,000 the month before or something. It was insane, actually. Just, wow. Population has decreased dramatically. All time. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the population. Look at the population. 44,000 down to 29,000. Oh my giddy -ant. That was the previous winter. That was this winter. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm, I'm just glad that we survived. I'm glad that I survived. A lot of people, a lot of people died. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Turistovsky solar power plant... I'm excited to see uh, how that shakes out. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting. That's for sure. Um, I'm very curious. Oh, actually, something um, something that I probably neglected to consider with regards to steel. So you collect steel from there. Let's also get you to collect steel from here as well. There we go. Loads. Cool. Yeah, I think that's... Was that everything? Was that all that we... Was that all that we had uh, drawing steel from here? I think it might have been. Because we do still have our steel delivery area here, right? Yeah, and that's still working just fine. Heating problems. Uh, yeah, there will be heating problems here. There will be heating problems here. That's kind of... Ooh, that's a new button. Uh, call all vehicles home. Uh, yeah, there will continue to be heating problems in some places around the map. But for the most part, I'm not super worried about it. Bauxite boat is just about to leave. That's extra million rubles whenever that happens. That's kind of nice. I like that a lot. Look at this. All the conveyors are, are coming along here. Coming along just nicely. Iron ore processing. That's getting built too. This area, it's, it's working. It's working. It is working. We are absolutely categorically getting there. And we're still making we're still making steel at a aggressively fast rate. I would just rather not have a super large number of deaths, please, the next time that we have a winter. That would be really great. Would be really, really, really great, in fact. Also, why on earth is this facility just not completed? I'm not really too sure. I am not really too sure at all. All that I know is that we just need more... We need more coal. We need more coal, and that's what we're going to try and do. Yeah, very strange. Kolovskysky, huge construction office. Yeah, you're assigned. You're assigned. Is it just the steel that's the problem? Steel, nothing assigned? Pick up steel from there. Huh. That's strange. Okay. Uh... Right? I thought that that had been plumbed into the surrounding infrastructure, but apparently not. Okay, that's great. Traffic jam, traffic jam. Train is waiting too long. That'll be at the border again. I'm not super bothered about that. I'm not super bothered about that at all. Yeah, so I thought this this office was definitely getting steel because look, I mean. Oh wait, hold up! It's assigned all of the construction offices. Did that do that normally? I didn't assign them. I did not assign them. Hmm. Okay, looks like there's a couple of like uh, under the hood changes. Yep. Look, this is assigned all of the construction offices. 
How very, very peculiar. How very, very, very peculiar. Uh, that's okay. Apparently, we're just letting all of these, uh... Letting all of these facilities just get destroyed sequentially. That's fine. Small distribution office. That'll almost certainly get put out. Yep, fire truck is coming. Uh, helicopter pad isn't isn't coming along at, at a at a rate of knots that I'm happy with. Why is why is that not happening? Ooh, helicopter pad is done though. We can check out the types of the different types of helicopters. What do we got here? So we got the uh, we've got what one two three four five types of helicopters. They're all the same, really. I I guess. I mean. So this is a cargo. This is cargo only. MI-10 is cargo only. And then this is the non-cargo variant. This is a... Oh my goodness. Large, large, large passenger capacity. 47 passengers. 8 passengers. 22 passengers. Oh, okay. Now this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. I mean, I don't even know where we would want to fly it. I think, to be honest, the the solution is is just to have like regular helicopter flights between the border posts, the customs houses, and you know the rest of the map. Aha! Uh -huh, look, we actually finally, 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 finally have people working in the control tower. That's excellent, excellent, excellent news. I'm delighted. Uh, also, we don't even need this anymore. We don't need this. Destroy it. And instead. Uh, just build. That's right, our very own renewable. Very own renewable turbine. Cool. Barely even uses any of the power production. Excuse me? Uh, is the runway too short? 850 meters? Okay, it is a smidgen too short. I think it's like 700 and something, this one. Right. Uh, cool. Uh, we'll make this a thousand. I think a thousand is like the, uh... A thousand... A thousand meter runway is what is required for the 2U144, which is almost certainly what we're after. Also, in control tower is not enough workers. Ugh, how did they despawn that quickly? How did they despawn that quickly? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, for pity's sake. We were so close to escaping with this aircraft. We were so close to escaping with the aircraft, and yet, uh, and yet here we are. All right, we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. Uh, these buses are all out of juice. I mean, there is a gas station there. What? Is that not within range? Okay. I am very confused as to why that is not within range, but fine. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Build, build, and again, ditch this, because who cares about, who cares about importing power now? And we can just get our very own renewable source of, uh, small wind. Oh, this is great. This is wonderful. This is Kraken. This is great. This is actually super, super, super handy. There we go. All of the buses have now been fixed. It's excellent. Tourists. Uh, tourists, you need to go back to here. No. Fly around because there's 19 tourists waiting. And to be honest, we could do with getting more of them loaded onto the aircraft, please. So come in for a landing. There we go. 870 meters to land? Or 870 meters to take off and you barely use half the runway? Okay, then. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not bitter or anything. That's all good. 
Either way, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty great here. We're gonna We're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to seriously ramp up the number of tourists that we're able to take. Alright. Traveling time. How long have you been uh, traveling for? Ah, five hours or so. Either way, the flights the flights here are gonna be pretty darn quick, I think. I hope, anyway. Oh, yeah. The flights are going to be pretty darn quick. Hopefully, it won't take too long for us to transit the tourists from one half of the map to the other half of the map. Wow, the sound effects are really great. You can really hear that uh, that engine throttling, can't you? Oh, you can even see the... You can even see the heat from the engines rippling out. Very cool. Wow. This is great. I, I love aircraft. This is very, very cool. And the implementation in this game, I think, is absolutely perfect. It's been done very, very well. It really is very, very considered. This entire area still needs to be overhauled. I know. I know. There's a lot of... There's a lot of additional bits and bobs that can be done in, uh, in Disneyland Dovsk. Certainly, this mountain could even be demolished and we could, you know, make way for very many more 1,000 meter long runways. Because these little piddly ones, I'm sorry, they're just not good enough. There's no reason to, right? I mean, if we're going to use, if we're going to use, uh, if we're going to use uh, small aircraft to move people around the map, we're going to use helicopters. Helicopters have got, you know, a pad of way, 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 way smaller size, and they're actually able to take way more people. This aircraft, for goodness sake, the cheapest one, or one of the cheapest ones, it's got a capacity of 22. There is absolutely no reason not to, not to use, uh, not to use, not to use helicopters. I think we're going to keep this big airport. I think we're going to keep this big airport because, frankly, it's, it's taken a lot. It's taken a lot to, to get this far, right? I mean, it took the freaking control tower of, of destiny. Uh, it took three control towers in order to get to in order to get to an actual placement that would work for the airport. So we're gonna keep this airport for sure, but um, we're gonna probably start trying to move over to helipads and helicopters and stuff because helicopters and helipads are very cool. Don't know if you know, they're the new uh, the new hot stuff for sure. All right, solar power plant's going to get built. We're going to get the helicopter construction office at some point. That's going to be built. That's going to just take time as well. We probably just need more people. We probably just need more builders. We probably just need more workers. Uh, maybe even worth getting a few more buses at some of these construction offices, actually. Yeah, give me two more chab buses there. Yeah, we could probably even do with getting another construction office. Yep, I will... Uh, actually, I'm not going to get more... I'm not going to get more construction offices. I'll just get four more buses from here. And that should... That should probably be uh, be enough of a, an additional workforce that will allow us to build stuff just slightly more rapidly. Just a smidgen more rapidly. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's currently in the works. I'm pretty happy with exactly where we are. Uh, what do you like about this brand new update? Um, we're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a messy state, but uh, something that I can say, I love all of the quality of life improvements, and I'm super super excited to get to play around with helicopters in the next episode. So please, by all means, tune in then. Uh, let me know in the comments what was your favorite update part of this episode. What did you like most? Let me know. Comments down below. Would uh, would love to hear, uh, indeed, what you've got to say, comrade. Uh, as ever, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Banana Nana -na and Aurelia from the $225 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.